Hi, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis. Here's a thought for today. If you're autistic and you're in a situation where you're working with, living with, friends with someone who is regularly hurting you and you can't figure out why, like what's going on, but it's clearly a bad situation. I'm wondering what is it about them that is creating this situation? And I phrase that very carefully because often it's so, so easy for us to go into the place of what's wrong with me? Why don't they like me? What's wrong with me that, that this is an issue? But if you genuinely cannot figure out that you are doing anything wrong, being mean, you're not hurting them in any way, you're not creating a situation that is inappropriate, it's genuinely might not be you. It might be them. It might be their ego can't support someone who actually tells the truth. It might be that they had dreams that are being dashed by some factors outside of your control and it has nothing to do with you, but they're really upset about it and they're taking it out on someone else. Maybe they're taking it out on someone who looks like they're like you're doing something similar. Um, but it, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, that's their issues. But this is my point is it might be their issues that are creating this situation, not actually you. So what is it about them? And you might not have a good answer for that. You probably don't. In fact, you're probably not going to be able to know what it is from their past or what it is in their psyche that is creating this. But I would like to suggest a shift from always blaming yourself for every time anyone doesn't like you or anytime anyone is mean to you or anytime anyone has patterns of bad behavior. It's might not be you that's causing the issue. It might be them. Okay, that's my thought for today. I wish you a neuro wonderful day. Take care.